objective of membrane cleaning is to remove ferulents, restore operational parameters and reduce the required cleaning frequency. Step 1. Identifying the ferulent. Ferulent identification is key to efficient cleaning. Our autopsy of membranes and cartridge filters will identify ferulents and also the most effective cleaning procedure. The autopsy uses in-depth analytical techniques to identify deposits. Membrane samples are removed and a flat sheet test rig is used to determine the most efficient cleaning products. Step 2. When to clean. Membrane manufacturers recommend cleaning when normalized parameters change by 10 to 15 percent. Delaying cleaning causes ferulent compression into the membrane, making removal more difficult. Extra cleaning cycles require more time and chemicals. Step 3. Membrane cleaning organics and clay. Calculating the correct CIP volume depends on the number of membrane elements being cleaned and the volume of pipework. Heat permeates to 35 to 40 degrees centigrade, 95 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit and circulate to warm the membranes. The solution should be prepared using the correct chemical concentration with warm permeate water. Adjust pH and temperature to comply with manufacturer's guidelines. Recirculate the cleaning solution for 30 minutes. Soak the membranes for 30 minutes to determine the extent of organic fouling. During soaking, normal osmosis causes permeate flow back through the membrane, loosening deposits. If the solution becomes discoloured, discard and make up a new batch. Repeat two or three times depending on the extent of the fouling. Circulating dirty solutions damages membranes and increases salt passage. Once the solution appears clean, soak for as long as possible. If the foulant is proving difficult to remove, use Gen Air Clean microbubbles to create turbulence and enhance foulant removal. If fouling is severe, an overnight soak may be required. Step 4. Flushing. Flushing with permeate removes remaining contaminants and leftover chemical solution before starting the next step or returning to service. Step 5. Inorganic cleaning. Inorganic deposits such as calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate and silica occur on the final elements of the last stage. Metals can deposit throughout the system. Calcium carbonate and iron can be cleaned with Genosol 701 which is a mild acid cleaner with effervescent microbubbles. The 1% solution should be maintained at 25 degrees centigrade, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and pH should be monitored. Any pH reduction indicates scale removal. Discoloration indicates iron removal. Less common scales. Calcium sulfate, barium sulfate and silica are not removed by acids and need a special approach using Genosol 50 chelating agent combined with long soak times to achieve optimum removal. A scientific approach with specially formulated cleaners produces enhanced cleaning results.